we just got this Arctic Star refrigerator with a larger freezer. A lot of refrigerator freezers this size don't have a very big freezer. And it's got that old characteristic classic look. In this video, I'll show you the good, bad, and ugly. Now overall, I'm pretty happy with this product. But while assembling this, I'll show you some of the trials and tribulations. Here's that nice big freezer. And the refrigerator, not quite as big, but that's okay. We'll pull out the hardware, and this hardware is pretty hard to put on. I'll show you that a little later. Now the average cost to run this is about $43 a year. Other refrigerators around this size are a little lower than this. I'd imagine the freezer cost a little bit more to run, but that's what we wanted. Oh man, a ding! Unfortunately, we didn't pay for scratch and dent. All that packaging and still took a thump. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this hardware. Now, just in case you're wondering, this is not metal. It looks like it, but it's plastic. And I'd be okay with plastic, but wait until you see how it doesn't fit. Now, this piece is supposed to just slide in here and snap. Now, you screw the flat plate to the refrigerator. Now, that part was no problem. Just put the screws in and zip them into place. Now, to try to get this handle on, I broke out the silicone grease. Silicone grease is safe to use on plastic. It's kind of like the manufacturer didn't compensate for the chrome finish. If it needed to be pressed in with a machine, it should have come delivered with the handles on it. Now, I probably have a half a dozen types of clamps, so I start using and trying all of them. I don't want this thing to break. I'm not going to use a rubber hammer. Flex and pull and push. Woo, finally heard the click. It's in place now. Now the second one was a little bit easier. As you can see, the screws go in no problem. I do have to say, this is some pretty nice looking hardware. Okay, it's party time. Let's go ahead and get this thing to click. With the experience from the first one, you can see I'm getting this a little easier. Now in my mind, it's like, please don't break, please don't break. And yes, this one has silicone grease on it as well. I'm using this clamp to get this last little click. Now after I get this handle on, I'll show you inside. There's some problems in there. Well, I ended up with two extra screws. At least I had extra. Okay, with all that hard work, let's go ahead and plug it in and let this thing get cool. Well, with my thermal camera, I can see where the coils are. It gets pretty warm on that one side, but it's nice and cool in that freezer. And the refrigerator does pretty good, too. Well, being cool is the important part. Now, this is kind of a small thing, but this is supposed to snap into these two holes. All right, we'll get it to work. I'll go ahead and pry it out, but I don't want this thing breaking. Well, I'll pull a little bit in the middle. Nope, not enough. I'll go ahead and pull it out on the sides a little bit. The quality control department was a little lacking on this part, too. Whatever, I just put a timing belt in one of the cars, so I'll just keep rolling with this thing. I'm just saying I wasn't expecting this thing not to fit. Okay, okay, it fits now. I guess you could say fits better than new. Now, if you're wondering, this is for cans of pop. Now, these are empty cans, but you get the point. I like that feature. Now, these glass shelves are a nice touch, but I'll show you a few problems. Now, we'll go ahead and pull these little pieces of foam off. Now, the foam was a good idea to keep these things from rattling around, but I was almost wondering if I should leave these things in. When this top shelf goes in, it clicks into place. Now, they should have done that with the bottom one. Wait till you see what happens. Okay, imagine it's midnight and you're grabbing for the mustard. Do you expect the entire shelf to come out? You better have spider reflexes, because that glass is gonna hit the floor. Now the crisper tray looks good in the picture. It doesn't really connect to anything. It's kind of awkward. Now I'm just curious, if I pull this top shelf out, could I get a gallon of milk in there? It looks like it'll fit. Yes, it does. It's close, but that is fine. Now the refrigerator did come with a few accessories. An ice cube tray and a little scraper. I think I'll try some ice. It's a hot day, that sounds fun. Well, it kind of bounces like the old freezers did. I gotta say, now that's a nice touch. I do say that's a nice looking refrigerator, but I do have to do a few modifications. This little shelf, not safe at all. And the crisper, it's gotta go. All right, the ketchup and mustard fit. Now it's starting to look like home. So overall, I really like this refrigerator freezer. And you've seen the good, bad, and the ugly. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching.